By simply changing zip codes and uniforms, a few players could shift the balance of power in the NBA. We will have a look at four of the most blockbuster trades that are about to save the NBA's disappointing playoff teams. Stay there till the end of the video as this video is going to be very interesting, so without wasting any more time, let's get started. Terry Rozier, the Los Angeles Clippers, were offered Terry Rozier in exchange for Marcus Morris, Brandon Boston, and two second round picks. The Clippers desperately need a point guard because Russell Westbrook will become a free agent this summer. So you can see the reasoning behind a move like this. Well, Rozier is an improvement over what the Clippers currently have, but there are a a few things about the deal that puzzles everyone. To start, Roger is more of a score-first player by nature, looking to get his shots up, and the Clippers have already had point guards who operate that way over the years. They have seen how that type of play style conflicts with Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. The Clippers also desperately need a playmaking point guard, which is why Russell Westbrook was chosen. In addition, we believe that the Hornets can obtain a better offer for Roger than this one if they decide to send him out to join their tank. Marcus Morris, who will be 34 years old next season, began to show his age both offensively and defensively this year, while Brandon Rozier still has three years left on his contract. So he should warrant a better offer than an expiring contract, a washed up veteran and an unproven second round pick. Boston is a nice young player to take a flyer on though. OG and Anubi. In this video, the next proposed trade between the Memphis Grizzlies and the Toronto Raptors involves the Grizzlies receiving OG and Anubi in exchange for Brandon Clark, Zaire Williams and two first round picks. Recently, the Grizzlies were in the news because it was revealed that they will under no circumstances circumstances be bringing back Brooks. The Grizzlies have looked to move in a new direction because Brooks, for better or worse, took his stick a little too far with his trash talking during the playoffs. Since the small forward position was already their biggest need and weakest position, they now have an even more obvious gap there, and honestly OG and Adobe would be the ideal candidates to fill it and help them advance. Mikael Bridges Starting right away with Murray Rorschach Holmes and two first round picks, this trade in our opinion is the least likely to succeed of those we've seen thus far, and we don't see any chance of it happening. According to reports that were made public at the time of the trade deadline, after the Nets acquired Mikael Bridges in the Kevin Durant trade, they were then offered four first round picks by another team. However, they declined that offer because since that time, Bridges has advanced further than anyone could have possibly predicted. So if you think you can get him now for a discount after that, you're completely crazy. Damian Lillard, the Brooklyn Nets and Portland Trail Blazers exchanged Spencer Dinwiddie for Damian Lillard and Yusuf Nurkic in the last proposal that we'll see in this video. In came Ben Simmons, three first round picks, and Thomas Darren Sharp, the Kevin Durant led Nets super team with Harden's departure last year and Kyrie and Katie's departure this year. So now that the smoke is cleared, the Nets have an intriguing roster that includes solid two way rotation players, a rising star in Mikhail Bridges, a few veterans, and a few young players with promise. With this, we come to the end of the video. Thanks for watching the video till the end. We hope you like the content of this video. Do let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.